Hi everyone, this is Terry. Today I want to show you the Baby Lock Meridian. The Baby Lock Meridian is an embroidery only machine that is the little sister to the Baby Lock Altair. Now my sponsor, George Moore with Moore Sewing Center in Southern California has a very special offer on the Baby Lock Altair. And it's a combination sewing embroidery and iq designer machine so i can show you some of the features on the embroidery and iq designer side here just so you can get an understanding of all the capabilities on the embroidery side both machines have a total of 494 built-in designs they each have the iq intuition positioning and a nine and a half by 14 inch embroidery field. The Altair also includes 771 built-in stitches. And the nice thing about these machines is that they're wireless. You'll notice you have a large workspace. This is 11 and two quarter inches from the right of the needle. So you can work on your quilting projects. You have a generous screen, it's 10.1 inch LCD screen. So let's go into embroidery. And what I want to do is just select a design and I'll choose one of the designs in botanical because I happen to like it a lot. And let's just choose this little bird here. This reminds me of handwork. Now the design is 6.85 inches by 4.54. I'm going to choose set. And what I want to do is size this for a, a hoop that is a smaller hoop. So I'll choose a nine and a half by nine and a half hoop so I can put this in a quilt square. But I want to change some of the colors. So I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to edit the colors and I'll use the color visualizer. Now what's so sweet about this is that I can choose from different tones and I do want to go ahead and choose random. And I had previously selected to do this manually, but this time I want it to select automatically for me. So now I have several designs to choose from and I can select those that I like the best. They'll be my favorites. So I'll go ahead and choose this design and I like this design and this one. Now I'll look at those three favorites and decide which one do I like the best. Well, I think I like this one here. So this is the embroidery design that I want to use and I'll choose set. Now what I want to do is I want to create some quilting around it. Well, the machine has a great feature where you're allowed to create a stamp around it. And what this does is it sets off an area so that you won't have any quilting right here inside your embroidery design. And I'll save that to memory. Now that I have it saved into memory, I can go right over and add using IQ Designer. And IQ Designer is so easy because now what I'll do is I'll select the hoop size that I want to use. I'll go ahead and choose OK. And now what I'll do is I'll take an, a bucket and add a background fill. But the first thing I need to do is to retrieve that stamp for that design. So I'll go ahead and retrieve that outline and now I'll add some stitches. If you look at this, you're going to say to yourself, well, where is it going to fill those stitches? It's going to fill it on this outside following this square box here. So we're going to go in, we could use stippling if we wanted to, but I like to make this more unique. And so what I'm going to do is to choose from one of 15 of the beautiful background fills that are available. And I think I'll go ahead and choose this with the little berries. And let's go ahead and choose a color that you can see. This wouldn't necessarily be the color that I'm going to stitch out. I'll take that bucket and fill it in. Now let's choose next. 
Now I get a chance to audition different sizes. I happen to like to increase the size of these stitches because I like to have a lighter fill and that's a personal preference. I'll go ahead and choose set. Now I have the outline known and if I want to, I can change the stitch angle. Now here's a suggestion that I'll give you on both the Meridian and the Altair. Save it right now to your pocket. And the reason you want to save it to the pocket is when you preview it, if you don't like it, it's just converted artwork to stitches. And I happen to love those stitches and I think it looks good. So I'll just choose set. Now when I take it in, I have my beautiful embroidery design and I also have those background stitches. But wait, there's more. I can go in and I can see what this would look like on the stitch player. So here's my design. I can turn the stitch player on and I can watch how this is going to stitch out. So I know what colors I need to have ready first, which will be those the stitches that are part of the design. I can speed it up to a speed of three. And I know that my quilting stitches are going to be the last stitches. Let's just delete this design and let's look at the menu again. So we're going to go ahead and delete everything. You also have beautiful built-in fonts. You'll notice you have 20 built-in fonts. You have beautiful monograms. My favorite are these. So let's just scroll down and find the M. And that's either for Moore's or Maffet. And let's choose Set. Now, wouldn't this look beautiful on a towel? Just imagine how pretty it would be for a wedding gift. Let's go ahead and delete that, and let's look at some of the other designs. You'll see that we have some alphabets that have two sizes, and these are actual, um, actual embroidery designs. They're not fonts that you type like a keyboard. Then you also have what are called built-in shapes. These are nice because you might want to use one of those shapes and use it to create your overall designs, or let's say that you wanted to do a quick patch, for instance, such as an embroidery patch. Then you also have some built-in sewing machine stitches, and there are a total of 160 of these stitches. Now you might ask yourself, well, what can you do with these? Well, let me give you an idea. Let's say that you wanted to take this stitch and you set it, now we can make that stitch larger by going to size and I want it to recalculate the stitch sizes. So it says, is it okay to reset it to it, its original position? And now what I'll do is make it as large as I can get it and I'll choose okay. Now what I'm going to do is let's just say that I wanted to create fabric. I can go in and I can add additional designs on the screen and I can do it from both horizontally and vertically and fill up my hoop. Now that would extend outside of the hoop. So if I wanted to expand it somewhat and I can do that both horizontally and vertically, I can do that and now I can fill up a hoop with stitches or if I wanted to reduce that space and keep those stitches as continuous stitches, I can do that. I can also go in and add reference marks at the bottom of these stitches if I wanted to have this to be a continuous design. So I've added a reference mark here. I'll go ahead and move down to the bottom again. And I said reference, I really mean registration. So now what I can do is I can stitch this out and I can line up my next design with that registration mark. It's that easy. I'm Terry Maffitt. As always, thank you for your time today. 
and make sure that you contact the friendly staff at Moore Sewing Center in Southern California. They can help you with all your sewing needs.